My main inspiration is probably nature, which probably sounds quite strange because there's such a range of work. I've started my career as an artist defacing my parents' telephone books. <laughs> and I graduated into sketchbooks. I started keeping sketchbooks really early on. I do an awful lot of paintings and drawings of trees and leaves, but then I will sort of abstract a lot of the shapes and then from them, turn them into geometric shapes. Around my studio, there's lots of little treasures from walks, so acorns or fragments of nature. I knew that I wanted to expand the range of work that I made and I wanted to experiment with things in a non-digital way and it's a really big process but if you work very hands-on with paintings and drawing if you make a mistake you basically ruined your artwork so using the Cricut has given me such an opportunity to make the same design in many different forms and that gives me such a brilliant way to experiment and change and move forward. One of the things I particularly like about the Cricut is it's very much designed with the artist in mind. It's very user friendly and all the graphics and everything related to it is very visual. Using my Cricut has really extended my creative vocabulary. What it's done is it's given me the opportunity to work in very exacting shapes and contrast them with the hand cut shapes that I use. So it's kind of doubled my visual vocabulary, which is absolutely what I wanted to do. And it just means that I can have lots and lots of different shapes at my whim, which I can then use in my collages, in my designing, in my planning. I couldn't have made the swatches that I use on a daily basis without the Cricut because hole punches, I mean, I'd have been there forever. So from that perspective, it's also extended my studio work incredibly as well. I couldn't live without my Cricut. I use it all the time. It's so vital to my studio work. I've never had a tool that I love as much as my Cricut, and that is hands-on art true. <laughs>